Right, so I want to talk about bizarre UAE tactics as well as Vingegaard's should he pull for WoW. First, we're going to do UAE tactics. Now, I think UAE tactics today made zero sense. Now, I know I want to keep yellow for Adam Yates, but they pulled so hard. Like, Bjorg was going absolutely ballistic so early on. You got that Mikkel Berg and that from, from uh, UAE. They just look at the numbers and just <laughs> do it like a trick. <laughs> it's like, just it's calm down, you know? Well, like all the sprinters on the back, like, what? <laughs> I just don't really get why. Like, I know they want to keep yellow, but to me, that seems pointless. I think these teams are, are getting a bit ridiculous. Like, it's just, just let it go. Like, let Paulus go um, into the yellow jersey. You know, they can control it. I just don't get why they want to keep it. But when they did, fair enough. But it just doesn't make sense. Like, the bonus seconds you're going to gain at the top of the climb is just so irrelevant. Like, I think he gained nine seconds on Vingard today in total, which is, like, fine. But it's not like, wow, mega, mega, like, can't believe it. Um, you know, the top of the climb, he gained eight seconds, Vingard gained five, and he gained six in the in the sprint. So it just seems bizarre by UAE to go so hard all day for no apparent reason. I mean, nine seconds, yeah, it's good. But, like, at the end of the day, I just think it was um, it was a very odd tactic. Um, going to that, I don't know why more teams didn't get in the break. If I was riding for any of those kind of worst teams that didn't have a GC guy or a sprinter, for sure I'd be in the break. Like, why not? It's such a good opportunity to be in the break with a hilly stage like that. There's such a high chance it goes away, but it turns out, like, just not how many people were interested. And with, like, Paolo's Cavani, you've got quite a good chance of it, like, going to the line. Um, but anyway, I think, kind of interesting. But I more wanted to talk about, like, uh, Yumbo. So, la yesterday, all the Belgian press went mental at Vingard for not pulling. They said, why didn't he pull for Wout van Aert? You know, he should have helped Wout van Aert win the stage. Obviously, no, because Wout van Aert would have got, well, it looked like he would have got beaten by Poggy yesterday. More bonus seconds for Pog, so that makes no sense. And even today, he pulls more bonus seconds for Pog. Now, I know it's kind of like, oh, you know, they should help each other out. But again, they're trying to win the tour here. They're not, they're, you know, they're trying, they're not messing around here. Like, they can't kind of sacrifice people for Wout van Aert's, like, you know, stage wins. It's like, if they happen, they happen. But like, if you're Vingard, you're like, I won it last year. This Poggy kid is very good. I need all the help I can get. Like, I can't just be uh, wasting energy trying to pull back Victor Lafay. where at the end of the day, a stage win in the Tour, Wout van Aert's got a lot of them. If he really wants a stage win in the Tour, he should leave teams, in my opinion. It's like, the team is set up for GC. Everything should be behind Vingard. If Wout van Aert can do some sprints and it doesn't take too much energy, then yeah, fine. But, you know, getting people to ride that hard just made zero sense. Even Tish Benut, before he was riding so hard, same with Kelderman, try and bring it to back together. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. But like, Wout van Aert just, he never attacked. Uh, he just waited for the sprint. And I think, again, it's kind of like small brain move. Like, if he attacks, who's chasing? No one, no one cares. If he wins the stage, like, all the GC guys are like, yeah, whatever, mate. No one, like, you know, we're just here for the for the three weeks. So, again, I just, just more odd tactics from teams. And I think sometimes they just seem to like, I think if there was a real strong team who was solely dedicated on GC, like Ineos used to be, then maybe it could have a difference. But because both of them seem to have absolutely wild tactics, just trying to, like, you know, not focus 100% on GC, a lot more focus on the stage wins, which is fine, like, whatever is at all, it's kind of crazy in my mind because it's it's just, like, surely you just want to go... Winning the Tour is hard enough. We just got to focus on that. And, like, well, I've got his green jersey last year. Like, just, you know, relax. Like, he'll win a TT. Well, I probably won't win the TT. But, like, he'll win a sprint stage maybe tomorrow you know, and, and whatever, like, I just, you know, the, the stress of um, everyone criticising, then he had a massive hissy fit in the car park afterwards, apparently through his bike and all the rest of it, it's like, that's just, ch like, I don't know, I think if you were a Vingard, you'd be like, boy, like, just relax, I've done a lot of work, like, you know, to get in the tour in best condition possible, I don't want to, like, start pulling to try and get you back, and I even think it wouldn't have helped that much, like, Vingard is strong on the flat for sure, but, like, no, actually, no, to be fair, having said that, it was like literally four meters away, so it probably would have made a difference. But I still think it's just, it seems very odd um, for them to try and get Vingard to ride. But anyway, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think below, um, and I'll see you in the next one.